Yeah, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the the horsepower of this little latte panda. I think that's it. I think that's all I have to to do with the latte panda. Um, I mean, I have a billion ideas of what I could do because we can embed this right inside the robot. It makes me kind of feel like I want to do that right now, right? Like I want to take this and add it to this robot permanently. But I know that I'm going to want to use it for many other things. So, I mean, it has headphones. You can have a little amplifier plugged into it. So you have some speakers. Um, as for connecting remotely, I would recommend probably a tight VNC. Let's go into, uh, just type in tight VNC here in your search in Edge <laughs> and use Bing. Um, no, don't do that. Any of these things I'm telling you, except unless you're on here because Chrome is better <laughs> than Edge. Okay, um, install for Windows 64. Yes, this is a 64-bit operating system. And then click Run. So this program, Tight VNC, it's a uh, remote desktop utility. I just turn the power off so we can let this guy rest. We can close this down. So this is going to allow us to connect remotely from another computer. So I'm going to just click and say typical. And associate all these options here is fine. I'll say next and install. Yes. Now, how to find the uh, this device on your network is by its name. So I'm not going to add a, I, an, a, a password. I'm just going to use no password at all because I live on the wild side. I'm crazy like that. So the computer name is, I don't really know how to change it in, I think it's under this PC. Properties. There we go. And then you can click on change settings over here. And rename this computer, click change. That's what I want to do. And here's my computer name. So I'm going to just call this Latte Panda. I feel that's an appropriate name. And it wants to restart. No problem. Let's do it. Restart now. All right, let's see how quickly this thing restarts as well. Okay, that didn't take long for Windows to reboot. Um, so now VNC is running in the background. So let's go to my other computer here. There we go. And from here, we should be able to load up. So I have tight VNC already installed on here. And I should be able to type in latte. Panda. Now, it might take a while for your internal network to identify all of the different names of your computers. So let's just see if it's got it. Oh, it did. There we go. So this is actually connected to that computer. It's a Latte Panda. So I can click and run Easy Builder, and I don't actually need a monitor on this thing. I can, I can just disconnect the monitor, and I can disconnect the keyboard, and I can throw them in the garbage, and I'm two wires less than I need. And I can also, if I wanted to, unhook the Ethernet and use uh, Wi-Fi. Right? And that would be it. So we're connected to... This is awesome. The resolution seems to be kind of weird, though. I don't know what's going on here. Let's try this again. Come on, Tate VNC, don't let us down. Oh, weird. So when I don't have HDMI plugged in, it goes to this like absurdly small resolution. This is important to know for everyone. Uh, let's take a look and see what the display settings are set for. So this is with no HDMI. No HDMI, it goes to a ridiculously small resolution. Interesting. Oh, well that's too bad. So if you're going to be using this thing without HDMI plugged into it, um, yeah, this is what you get for resolution. Interesting. Don't show this to me again. 
Well, let's take a look and see if uh, what it looks like with a project loaded. So let's go open. And let's load up our Bioloid project we just created. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see if it's usable. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Just have to use a scroll bar. Yeah, that's fine. So let's load up a big project like JD from Easy Robot. Click. Oh wow. JD, there we go. Sync. Yes. Download easy bits. Well, this will be neat to see too. We get to find out how the 3D runs with it. So let's plug our HDMI back in though so that we can get the resolution back to something not decent. And it looks like when the resolution changes, we have to go back into, into it to render correctly. There we go. Assembly instructions, yes. Okay, so it's loading the files right now for 3D which are all 3D printable files. So that's gonna take a bit. Ooh, that didn't take very long at all. So let's see how this works. And this is, remember, this is over VNC. This is over a network connection. <laughs> that's pretty good. Let's see what it looks like uh, locally. So this is actually on, on the local machine. Okay, so let's try this now. Let's click next. Oh yeah, that's pretty decent for being this like tiny little computer. Look at it's doing 3D. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's hit next a bunch of times and see how quickly it throws it all in there and then we'll make it do this 360 degrees. Oh yeah, we made it chug. I mean, this is not a gaming PC, right? So it's not like this is a necessary feature. But wow, I gotta say, this is running really well. Okay. And let's uh, smart arrange. There we go. Cool. And then let's see, we should have full screen access to our different, pro different uh, windows here. There we go. Ooh, this looks all goofy because we changed the resolution. Interesting. Let's uh, let's close it down, reload it back in, because I think that's going to be a really bizarre one. When the HDMI is disconnected, it goes to a really low resolution. Hmm. Wonder why that is. All right, here we go. Oh, there, that looks perfect. Yeah, this runs great. Huh. And how about Robo Scratch? Oh, yeah. And Blockly. Why not try Cerebrox? Yeah, these work wonderful. I hope you guys enjoyed the Latte Panda as much as I did. And let me just shut this Latte Panda down. Clickety-click, shut down. Cool. We'll see you all later. Take care.